Right, I'm leaving this black rock wood for a minute. I've come up in like a circular Cantock pathway. Following markers, now they're going the opposite direction. I don't suppose it really matters which direction you go. And now we've lost. I feel I'm at the top. And here's a gateway. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, goodness knows where this takes you. It looks like there's paths either way. But my instinct's going to be to go down there. Number seven, it says. We've passed about three, but we just have a look up here for future reference. Over there is Velvet Bottom. That's all Velvet Bottom over there. And then up here, I think this will take you over to join up, I would say. Look, so I'm not doing this today. I'm not going this way today. I'm just going to go to a certain point. There are cows here. Look, could be milking time again. So they've, oh, they're all up there. There are cows in here. But I imagine this takes you up and you would cross further up to go to, to go to um, the slights over there. Um, Draycott slights. I reckon it'll be over that way. Yeah, so I reckon if you followed on that way, it would take you there. Well, I'm, I'm keeping away from the cows. They're here. So I know that for another time, that there is a way up the top here to go that way. And that'll probably take me to that drove. Um, can't remember the name of it. But there is a drove. It could even be um, Draycott Drove. You probably have to cross the road further down the bottom there. Now that's, that's, that's that'll be enough for today because I can plan on doing that another time going that way, see? That'll be a separate walk and that'll take me back on the other side of the gorge. So we'll leave that one. We'll just do the the um, labelled one, the designated one. Because this is the sort of one you could take the kids on. Zara had a decent pair of shoes she could do this. Jolene could do it and Georgia. I don't know why they don't meet up together and take their kids out. Because they could definitely walk faster than me. Yeah, they've definitely been up this way. So they might be going back towards being milked. It's that time in that day now. But I do try to avoid them after being chased, for real. They haven't long been here, look, unless there's any strays down the bottom here. I hope not, because um, I never used to be so scared of them. But um, I am now, I am very, very wary of them now. And they can move quite quickly. And I don't care, even if the farmers put them on where people walk, they're still a wild animal, really. But anyway, this is the English countryside. This is the beautiful Somerset countryside. These cow packs are very, very fresh indeed. Flies on them. So hopefully the cows I saw will be the ones going up. Uh, and like I said, they, they, they don't take long to walk. Look. That hasn't been done. That, uh, that, probably that pack there hasn't been done. It's, that's under an hour. So this is right, this is basically, this is taking me back in the direction I want to go. Which is back down towards Longwood. I'm doing it in reverse, by the way, this. I'm doing it in reverse. Oh, right, hold on a minute, I'll have to get up on the top there. To get over, I can't really do it. Ah. 
make them stiff on purpose. Right then, here we've got another. So we've come through there. We're walking round Black Rock, by the way. It all looks very easy, doesn't it? That's number six. But of course, if you're following in the correct order, see, it might have come from down there for all I know. But I don't mind walking up here. It's all fine. That's I'm going to turn off in a minute, take some photos. It'll be very, very noisy. Oh yeah, down there, there's Longwood. That's Longwood there. There's the quarry. What I do, oh, what's happening, I'm going to come back down around like that. I can see it now. And basically, there probably is a way to get over to um, Velvet Bottom, right over along the top here. I reckon there is. That's something else I'll explore another time. Today's only an afternoon walk. Um, and with the days getting shorter, I'd even have to bring Alberta out um, and come out early now because um, right over there in the distance we've got Roberry Robero Warren. All the Mendips along the top there, which I walked a week or so ago. I'm out most weeks. And I can't think of anything more beautiful than being out here doing this. I like doing my tree work. I'm very lucky really to be retired and being able to do my hobbies. I mean obviously money is very tight. I can't really afford to do some of this stuff. I mean I'd like to do all the castles of Normandy for example. And the graveyards over there. The war World War ones. But um, I might organise that for myself one day. Go on an organised trip, I think, would be better. Um, with making sure I know we've got lots and lots of um, family. Not direct down in the line, but branches, you know, uncles, great uncles and all that that were killed. Um, and cousins that are all in the tree. Um, so that I know that I would... If I went over there, I could actually see a grave. If you know what I mean, because there's so many of every family lost loads of people. Right then, I'm going to turn off here. I just point out there, see that farm over there? That there, that is some um, piney slights. That's where I'll be heading. I'll be heading for that later on the way home. There's Longwood, so I'll be heading down that way and across there. That's my walk for today. That's my beautiful walk for today, everybody. I just zoom in on Piney Slates. It's a lovely little farm tucked out, snuggled in the hillside there. And it's got these lovely old stiles that you go over. Lovely old stiles. It's such a peaceful walk, that is leading you down towards Cheddar Gorge, down a side gorge, and, and home. And like I said, there we have Longwood there, and Long Sheepfield further over, which I will be transversing again. I can see my sheep, they're already in the field. Longfield is over there. Some, soon it'll be okay to walk in some of the fields, the cows get taken in. So, so there are some walks. Now just there, I'll just point out again, just look right there, and there's the path I came down about an hour or so ago, leading to Cheddar Gorge, that side of the gorge. There's a pathway there, going all the way down. But I'm not going back that way. I like to, I always like to do a different way back. This is it, this is beautiful Somerset and I've never stood in this spot before. There's a very large stone there I'm going to go and have a look at in a minute as well. Very large, isn't it? I've seen lots of evidence of the Romans, the Roman cement. 
um, everywhere and and some different um, tools I don't, I don't cut them all about I've got a finger I think I've got a fossil a bone I've put it in my bag as well that I found today right over and out for now